As earlier summoned on Wednesday, both Minister of Gender Betty Amongi and her finance counterpart Madia Kasaija appeared in the House to present a detailed explanation concerning the alleged rot at NSSF. First was Gender Minister Betty Amongi who assured the legislators that funds at NSSF are safe, insisting there is no need for workers to get worried about the safety of their money. Members' funds are safe and protected. The minister then explained why she has up to now refused to renew the contract of the former NSSF managing director Richard Biarugaba, saying he is under investigations for the alleged corruption scandals at the fund. What was the basis of his leaving office? One, the, both of them had reached 60 years, which is mand mandatory retirement age. I consulted public service. Public service indicated to me that I can only, we can only move and give them the two contracts. The board sat and gave them a contract of three years and recommended to me first. Then later, for five years. And why did you go against the board's decision? Right, Honorable Speaker, I indicated... When you, when you look at uh, Section 18 of the Act, there shall be a managing director of the fund appointed by the minister on the recommendation of the board. And if the board made a recommendation, why didn't you appoint? The minister was also tasked to explain why she requisitioned for the 6 billion shillings, yet she is not the accounting officer for the National Social Security Fund. About the 6 billion and the work plan. It is not me. I only gave them strategic guidance only. Parliament was, however, not convinced with the minister's explanation which compelled the Speaker to consider instituting a select committee to investigate the alleged rot at the National Social Security Fund. I am referring this to a select committee and we shall have very able people who can never be compromised to handle this matter. I will announce the names of the five people on Monday. The legislators welcomed the decision of the Speaker to institute a select committee to investigate the alleged mismanagement of the Savers funds. Ideally, there is no way we could manage it on the floor of Parliament without a select committee investigating, calling witnesses. And we think that many issues which are not apparent as we are listening to the report will come up as the select committee does its work. But there are a lot of issues at the NSSF from the, what I could see. So, and I think, of course, there is little trust in the committee that uh, is, uh, is prepared, of course, to be selected by the Horeb Speaker of Parliament. Let them try to be transparent. Let them not be used. Because we all know, some of, some of us have fears after seeing some companies getting involved in the issues of NSSF. For example, Namunkekera. Center around that document of 7th December, which the minister was refusing to lay on table. So they have to stand, they have to be firm, and they give us a good, thorough report, a comprehensive one. Alex Mugasha, Sam Ibanda Mugabi, NBS, Live at 9.